Buying a tubular battery for a new solar setup in this 2025 is a financial mistake. And I'll tell you why. First off, I'm not saying don't buy tubular batteries at all before tubular batteries marketers will come and drag me. For an existing user that just wants to replace because their battery is not as strong as it used to be, buy tubular. Good choice. For an existing user that their system is absolutely okay but they just wants to increase their backup period, buy tubular. Good choice. You have absolutely no reason why you should do a sudden change to lithium. But for a brand new setup in this 2025, you have absolutely no reason why you should go for tubular, no matter how little your budget is. For starters, let's start with pricing, which is the major reason why everyone has been avoiding lithium from years back now. But how about now? An average 12 or 230 amps tubular battery from reliable brands costs around 300 k and above now. A 12 or 200 amps lithium battery costs around 450k. Maybe a little bit below 450k or a little bit above 450k, depending on the brand you choose to go for. With that price, I know you might be thinking, oh no, I'd rather go for the cheaper tubular since it's also higher in amps compared to the 200 amps lithium, right? Well, let's go on and you'll see why that might not be a very good choice. Next, let's talk about the backup period we can get from each of these batteries. The 12 volt 230 amps tubular is equivalent to 2.7 kilowatts, while the 12 volt 200 amps lithium is equivalent to 2.5 kilowatts, which means the 2.7 kilowatt tubular should give us more backup than the 2.5 kilowatt lithium, right? Well, no. All batteries have something called DOD, depth of discharge, which is a measure of how much capacity we can get from a battery. Now, tubular batteries offers 50 to 60 percent DOD. In fact, most tubular batteries are 50 percent DOD. It is only few brands that are promising us 60 percent DOD. But let's settle for 60 percent DOD in this analysis. Now, 60 percent of the 2.7 kilowatt tubular will give us 1.6 kilowatt. Let's now assume we have a load of 300 watts. How many hours backup can we get from this 1.6 kilowatt DOD that the tubular is offering us? Let's do the calculation. 1600 divided by 300 watts. 5 hours and 3 minutes. Around 5 hours and 20 minutes or so. Although we can get more than 5 hours from the tubular battery if we choose to discharge it to 80% DOD, which is very, very not recommended by most of the manufacturers. Some of the manufacturers are saying their battery can be decided up to 80% DOD, but trust me, when you do that, you are sacrificing the lifespan of the battery. The average lifespan for a tubular battery is five to six years. So when you discharge to 80% DOD, you sacrifice at least half of the lifespan. So there is a particular brand that promised 80% DOD at a particular trip that I went to last year, but we've not tested it when we test and we see that okay this battery is supposed to use five years it's used five years and we are deciding to 80 percent DOD constantly and it still used five years then we can say yes we now have two lab batteries that can be discharged up to 80 percent DOD but for now we've not tested that all the ones we've tested if you are discharging them to 80 percent DOD you are on your own on the other hand lithium battery offers us 80 to 95 percent DOD. In fact, most brands promise 90 percent DOD. So let's set for 90 percent DOD. So 90 percent of 2.5 kilowatt of our lithium gives us 2.2 kilowatt. We already know what is about to happen. So same load, 300 watts. How many hours backup can we get from the 2.2 kilowatts that lithium is offering us? Seven hours plus. I think seven hours and 20 minutes also, which is two hours greater than that of 1.6 kilowatts that the tubular is offering us. Does that justify the price difference? Yes. We are not convinced. Let's go on. Lifespan. Tubular battery has lifespan of average of 5 to 6 years. Or oh, 7, but very, very rare. While lithium batteries are promising nothing less than 10 years of lifespan, which that alone is enough to convince you that lithium is just a better choice. While you are using it, we have maintenance. The tubular batteries require regular maintenance. Like every six months, you have to top the still water. Lithium battery requires no maintenance. They are maintenance free. I mean, the only reason why we left dry cell battery back in 2016 was because 
they were no longer reliable. In fact, it is fine before you see a dry soil that we use two years. Then to do that, came and all of us welcomed it. But it still doesn't change the fact that dry cells are maintenance free. Tubulars are not. The regular top up that we are doing, it still gives slightest inconvenience to whoever is doing it. So they are not maintenance free, but we had no choice because it is a better battery than dry cell. Now we now have lithium, maintenance free, dry cell, or whatever else cell we want to call it, but they are maintenance free. So over the years of your 10 years and above that you want to be using it, you have no worries about maintenance. Then the most sweetest one, how compact lithium are. Look at how smart lithium batteries are. Imagine you needed a 10 kilowatt tubular battery. You know how many batteries you are going to arrange together before you get that one single unit of 10 kilowatts. Or let me say you needed 60 kilowatts backup. You know how many tubular batteries you have to arrange together. You connect wire from here, you parallel, you series, you parallel, you series before you get 60 kilowatts. And you can get just one single unit of lithium battery. So the compactness of lithium battery is even enough for you to say, no, I'm not going for tubular. And now talking about the compactness, of, look at the system manufacturers are even bringing now. They now have all in one, just like solar generator, but bigger version of solar generators that we have. And you see a battery of 60 kilowatts with probably 20 kilowatts of inverter, all in one system. All you need is just to connect your solar panel to it, all your loads and whatever you want to connect with that one single, just one. So companies are making these things very smart and compact. So companies are doing all they can just to make compact and smart devices that will almost make it look like the device is just plug and play. So with all this, is it enough to justify the little increase in price of lithium compared to tubular? If you are still not convinced, it's fine. So your choice, go buy tubular. But take it from me, lithium is just a better option for you in 25. My name is Bashir from Italian and I'm also a chief soldier. Catch you guys in the next one.